Hello friends, today I want to share about a disease called VKH, Fort Kainagi Harada. I'm an Asian, I'm from India, I'm particularly from South India. So this is one of the rarest disease when I was, I never heard or read or knew someone who had VKH until it happened to me. So this happened uh, back in 2011, uh, June. So I just want to share a few information about this disease, uh, the medication, the things I had gone through and also how it changed my life in this video. Um, so I just realized that there is not much of you know information available in internet about this disease. Um, so uh, guys this just happened with me. Uh, you know, I was on a short trip, a short vacation, and I was hanging out. I was doing shopping with my friends. I was quite happy, uh, quite happy that day. And I was just 25 years old back then. And uh, I had a quite happy day. I came back home. I slept. Before sleeping, I even thought, God, I'm so happy, I'm so independent and uh, healthy and that night I sleep the next day I wake up and I cannot see from my left eye so initially the feeling was like you know something is blocking your vision like you know something like this you can only see from your right eye and uh, you cannot see from your left eye so I thought some dust would have went in I kept on washing my eyes, cleaning my eyes, and nothing improved that day. Uh, the next day, I'm supposed to meet my fiancé, who is now my husband. Um, I'm meeting him for the first time. Our marriage uh, things were discussed by our family, and we were we were meeting for the first time to decide upon uh, right what whether we want to get married or not. See the irony, friends. I went to meet him. Uh, I went to see him. And I cannot see him. So we had few discussions that day. I came back to home. He went back to his um, his city where he was working. Uh, so that night, even by night, nothing has changed. Uh, so the next day I wake up, I feel more, you know, I was worried, more tired. And the next day I go, go to office. I open the laptop. I see all the letters are jumbled up. I cannot see the, you know, I cannot see or read properly. Uh, the the lines, right? I work in SAP. Uh, by the way, I'm an IT consultant. I'm an IT professional. So I see the screens which I work. The lines are not straight. They are like twisted. Um, then I realized that there is something really wrong with me. I need to get to a doctor. So I, I took a help of a colleague and I had been to one of the very reputed hospital in India, in South India. I'd been there. I'd gone through basic, you know, eye tests like pressure test, um, the vision check and stuff like that. Then they came back to me saying that I have a, I would have to wear, you know, specs. And uh, in my left eye, there is almost, the vision is nil or equal to zero. I was very surprised by what they said, I was expecting some kind of infection, right, which I'll get some drops and which will get cured in a week. But they said something that I have a power issue. Uh, let me tell you, friends, I, uh, as a child, I never had any kind of, you know, power or vision issues. I never ever wore specs or glasses in my life. Uh, I even had an eye test just before joining my first job. I remember the doctor saying that you have an incredible vision, which is, you know, much better than the normal, you know, normal people. And you have very good vision. So I was not ready to buy that, what they just said. I always wanted a second opinion, though they said, um, uh, yeah, by, by this time, I also developed some kind of pain in my head. The pain was so severe. Um, it was more like breaking sting kind of feeling I, I i could not explain from where exactly it was coming it was sometimes here or there so so they gave me panic painkillers i took the painkillers and uh, i was not convinced with the diagnosis 
so i wanted a second opinion opinion i went to another doctor he also made me go through the basic tests and uh, the pain increased and days are just passing by i am going to both the places for the diagnosis to know what just happened right and both of them uh, i mean i see the doctors confused they are not able to say me what disease is it if it's not a power issue if it's a power issue it cannot just happen overnight it's a gradual thing you know you get this from your childhood or maybe from your teenage it's it gradually happen or maybe it because of the old age it cannot just happen overnight right you just wake up and you can't see i was very scary and this just kept on happening i am going to this both places for diagnosis meanwhile i'm also taking some kind of painkillers and i had digestion issues i am vomiting and nausea it just not feel good at all um i felt very depressed and almost within a week i cannot see him from my right side also it came to a it came to a situation where i cannot spot my mother who is standing in my room i'm almost equal to a blind so i call up my fiance and say that you know i'm not sure if i'm you know i'm fit enough to get married i'm i'm sick i am like almost like a blind now so you know he said me he said me uh, to not to worry and uh, go consult uh, the hospital uh, you know uh, narayana netralaya um uh, friends at first instance i was like almost hopeless because i was already taking from you know treat i mean i'm almost already trying to get uh, my disease diagnosed from two reputed uh, you know i care i care uh, hospitals in bangalore mm-hmm. uh, but i thought okay let me let me just give it a try for narayan and italy as well so i had been there i met dr kavita advani let me tell you guys she's god she is god she uh took three hours of my time of my time she did various diagnoses the basic things along with the scan uh i think i would have spent around 5000 inr and um, she told me in three hours what's wrong with me she said you have a disease called bot koinaki harada vkh and this is a very rare disease uh which do not have a pathology uh even now i don't think so they have found out what 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 is the cause or what was the reason that you will get this i do not have any of the family member with the uh, eye disease most of them have uh you know in my father said as well as my mother said i cannot remember anyone having a vision issue none of them even wear specs unless you know they are very old or they are about 60 years um so so this disease um so she diagnosed and she said me that okay you have this disease and i was quite happy uh that she found out i have a disease and i was more happier when she said there is a treatment for it she can treat me for it i was like it just filled me with hope you know you can understand a 25 year old you know all of us and realize that you know you cannot see you are turning blind over a week right that was quite depressing i was thinking my career is going to end my life is going to end it just put me into some kind of uncertainty which i don't even know not it's not even there in internet all right it was very depressing so i was quite happy i, I thought like okay i'll do anything to get myself treated right um Uh, so by the way she, this doctor she is uh, she was part of uh, uveitis uh, department mm. right now i think dr ankush kawali he is in charge of this department um, but uh, so she said me certain things okay 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 back then let me get back to my story so dr kavita advised me to have uh, you know uh, certain more test certain more blood test i uh, even done an hiv test you know before she said there is a medicine available which is you know steroids 
so if you are you know getting treated be, um, for steroid you have to go through certain kind of test so i did all that blood test everything was fine but she found out that i have i have my body is more heated up i have you know in kind of infections so i um i have to wait for you know my uh, my body to cool down probably i was tensed obviously i was tensed and also you know a lot of painkillers i was taking so i have to wait for another week to take medication so the my con my condition is only worsening you know slowly slowly but i have to wait so what i did was i went back to my native prayed to all god and uh, because i was like i don't know whether if, if she's saying this a treatment i was not sure whether i'll be even cured i can try that but then uh there are a lot of uh, side effects for it say like you can you know you'll have a lot of hair fall you might put on weight um so such kind of uh, uh you know side effects the medicine has but so i kept on praying i went back to my native i cannot start the medication so there was a date given to me i came back to bangalore again i was admitted in a hospital uh and she gave me injections steroid injections uh so i remember it was 1 1 gram like that i took several shots in 3 days and trust me friends in 3 days i was able to see i could locate the tv the people in the room right forget about reading uh, reading something or reading uh, the laptop or any newspaper that was not possible even then after 3 days it was not possible so that took almost 4 years you know to completely cure uh, this disease it took 4 years now i do not i don't have any medication i don't use any specs i'm perfectly all right but it took really four years you know you have to you have to be patient enough this disease will teach you how uh you know uh, how thankful you should be to god and how you know how love life can change overnight right you think that you are the boss and the next day you are nothing right so i went through the medication in three days i was cured then now uh, within 3 months i got engaged to my fiance and uh, we got married within a year i was still on medication um so uh, the pattern is like you have uh, you know initially they will start you with more dose of uh, steroids uh, the medicine name was wisolon and um more dose of uh, wisolon and then uh, i was also asked to meet um a rheumatologist so he was also giving me fall five and uh, one more medicine if uh, you know if i find my records i will i will put those medicine medicine details in my description so i was also asked to meet a rheumatologist to you know to increase the dose of uh, the fall five and one more one more one more medicine i can't remember the name um so i was i was uh, continuously taking this medication for uh, initially i took this for a year and uh, i also had some digestion issues okay because when you eat a lot of steroids or uh, painkillers obviously your digestion will go for a toss for that what i have done is that i met an ayurvedic doctor he was uh, he gave me few medicines uh, he is also from kotekel uh he is from bangalore uh, the hospital name is kotekel ayurvedishala so there uh, he has given me some digestion related medicines which i had and within a week i was fine and i continued this medication for one year and abruptly um, soon after my engagement and i felt healthy so i left the medication which is the biggest biggest mistake i have ever done i left 
the medications uh, obviously it was discomfort it was you know having the taking the medicines and you don't you don't your appetite will go for a toss so i just felt like stopping the medicine once i got back my vision so it repeated it so it repeated after a few months my vkh repeated at this time i had a 40 percentage of issue repeated with not as bad as earlier but it repeated so then i again went back to nethrale i got scolding from my doctor that why why would you stop it without discussing with the doctor uh, so i said you know i was able to see everything was back to normal apart from my um, digestion problems right so then she again put me into medication the same medicines the uh the steroids and uh, certain calcium tablets and uh, i was again cured it took uh, so this time i took it very seriously i continued the medication i was meeting uh, the doctor in naran italia also i was going and meeting my rheumatologist and i was also you know taking the medicines from the ayurvedic doctor for my indigestion problems so i continued doing this for four years and i am cured so what doctor say is that this can happen to me anytime this can recur anytime back so now every six months i go back to naran and italia and do my checkups just to make sure that everything is fine so if you like this video if you have any questions if someone is going through this disease just drop me a message in the description i will respond to you uh, since this happened with me like you know um eight years back and i was under medication for four years i would have just missed out on certain things but if you have any specific questions just write to me i will definitely respond to you i understand that there is very less content in internet about this disease so my intention of preparing this video is um to spread awareness and uh, let me tell you friends a very important thing if suppose if you're not taking a medication or you are not getting the right treatment for this disease right it can put you in a permanent loss of your vision so this is very important that as soon as you uh you know as soon as you're diagnosed or uh, you you get symptoms of this disease go and meet your doctor in india i would suggest according to my experience the best hospital who can treat you this disease is narayana nitralaya which is in bangalore uh, this is in south india um, this hospital has treatment they have a uh, very good uh, you know uh, procedure to test uh, or the diagnosis right they they will do it in a very professional way and also it is cheap it's not it is not that something which you will not be able to afford the uh, if i could remember the entire cost of my um you know the tests would have cost me 5000 um, and uh, because i was admitted in the hospital maybe some 20 25000 i was spent in hospital but i was insured uh, so i did not pay anything from my pocket um i have a health insurance so uh, apart from that uh, the steroids are also affordable only i wouldn't say that um, it is more than a thousand or something per month so there is treatment if someone is suffering for this uh, disease um uh, important thing is you go get the treatment as soon as possible otherwise there's a chances of permanent loss of vision so anything you want to know about this uh, disease just write in description i will respond to you thank you for listening to me guys hope my oh hope you i hope you guys uh, have have you know able to understand few things about this disease and also the medication uh, procedure uh, thanks for listening to me and listening to my story Thanks.